may I do a formal introduction first? Sure, please. Hey, I'm Robert. How are you? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop hey. Larry Brandon, Praise <laughs> Temple, um, one of our dear friends. Thanks thank for coming you. in. Well, thank you so much, really, for having me, and I appreciate it to uh, have an opportunity uh, to share uh, from some voices uh, from the hood. So tell everybody what you did. Well, what I did it was on purpose. I, I've asked around to meet uh, some of the, I would say, leaders you know, of the community. I, I don't want to label uh, anyone, but uh, some of the leaders of the community, and I'm still in a series of meetings and have invited others and in, um, undisclosed location. Would it be unfair to say gang community? Would that be an unfair? Would that be unfair of me to say? Well, uh, my commitment uh, to everyone in the community is not to use labels, but to um, just uh, you know share you know their concerns. How many? <sighs> How many calls did it take before you actually had the direct line to whomever? In other words, if we wanted to get, not to label anyone, yes. someone from that world, yes. I, 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 I don't know where I would start. Were you sort of as, as flummoxed by the idea as was I? Well, you know, I, I do walk the streets, you know, the community, and I, I love walking anyway. And there's times I walk and meet different people, and sometimes I stop. Um, but um, uh, knowing certain persons, I can, I can ask certain persons to get with uh, individuals from uh, any sector of the community. And I did ask for an introduction, ask for a meet, because again, there are those who are truly concerned about our community and they're also you know concerned about you know the violence what as was well. that will smith it was the play and then it was the movie what is it five degrees of separation oh, or right one. so, so, so you, yeah. to, safe to say you weren't two you weren't more than two degrees of separation away from where you needed to be a absolutely because uh, again i i don't people know me that i don't condemn i don't condone you know, but I'm really about the work in the community, and that's what it's all about. And then um, um, I, I'm considered uh, a trusted voice and someone who would uh, not condemn or condone, but uh, also keep confidential. And I'm a safe person, a safe place uh, to speak with. And so uh, in sharing uh, there, there are those who are comfortable, and of course, there were those who are, weren't comfortable in talking uh, yet. Um, but I'm combing through the community because I, I do want to go to uh, every area and have communications from uh, each area uh, and each each and all that uh, want to be heard because they, again there are those who don't want to be seen on television and they know I don't have a political motivation mm -hmm. uh, but my focus is to better our community. What was your biggest takeaway? My biggest takeaway was uh, simply that they wanted to be heard and um, want the uh, all the preachers, politicians and police to understand that they that we should enter into the community, not for photo opportunities, but to actually comb through the community. Uh, and I'm using the word comb through the community to see, to assess, to hear from them. I went in uh, and I went into the conversations to learn and not to say, well, we need to do this. We need to do this. Anybody can say stop. So what violence. was your first question? Well, my first question is what's really going on? You know, what's really happening? What's, why are you shooting place? each other? Is At, it? Uh, why? Why is there crime in America? Period. And what they say? You know? Well, uh, again, it's uh, people being retaliated. Uh, this retaliation. Your is, paw is killed my paw. It's, 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 and, and, and some of it's impulse. You have some. Uh, unfortunately, we have these 12 year olds who are, are carrying weapons and what have you. How did they get the weapons? You know, that's a question. How did it uh, enter our community? And and so uh, parenting from all ethnic groups is very, very important. Proper parenting is very important um, because, again, uh, you know, if parents are instigating, then no wonder our children are what, involved. What did they say would make them stop shooting and stop turning to violence? Well, um, you, uh, of course, as long as there's a devil, we do know there's going to be crime. However, opportunities are needed. 
you know, because, again, to walk out what what uh, one individual said stated, and I really appreciate his voice, that you these kids walking out the front door have no opportunities as opposed to they didn't say, but they alluded to soccer moms who me, could travel me, all around the city and mm-hmm. take their child to dance practice to let games. Me play oh, yeah. this, let me play they, devil. Larry, don't they, have that. They don't Larry, have let that. me play devil's advocate. School's free. Yeah. Well, school's free. However, if I'm walking from my home in the, where there's a life, uh, there are areas of crime, then there's the battle. I have to walk from my home to get to school. And when I finally get to school, the educator don't understand why I'm so antsy and upset. And that's why I've got involved in ACE. I'm grateful for Clay Walker. I'm now an ACE educator, Adverse Childhood. Yeah, he's talking to us about educator. kids with PT, yeah. literal a- PTSD. Absolutely. Yeah. And so if we don't know how to handle them, if they have to struggle to get to school and then go to school free and um, get beat up upon by the teachers or bullied or, or you name it or or they may begin to bully because they don't have a lot of our children. They go to school to eat, unfortunately. And that's why we have our summer feeding program. And that's why we have our year round uh, feeding program in the evening, because so the, uh, children, there's children within our community that's going through. The, and so many of them turn to a life of crime for fast money, quick money or to feel apart. Everybody wants to feel a part. Mm-hmm. And that's what's the overarching uh, part that I heard, that uh, they, they hear about all the monies that are coming into our city, uh, but it's not getting to them. You and know, because, again, they said open up. There, there was a suggestion, open up the fairgrounds and let them cruise. They they said no one wants them to cruise on Juella and other places. Well, open up the uh, fairground because they want to show off their cars and they uh, want to see the pretty ladies. And, and play loud and music, yeah. And, and enjoy. There's no homes right there that enjoy. they would about. But, but the, and that's just it. There's not enough positive entertainment, you know, in the area. Because, again, we, the focus is stop the violence, let's arrest, let's do this, let's crash down. But who who's really listening to them and listening to their voices and um, I'm working with a group we're working to um, have a day of truth a day of peace mm-hmm. you know to uh, come together and just say hey let no shooting on this day no violence on this day